thought he would be killed off or something. Everybody on the set's kind of crying. I don't want to have to work with a child every week on this set, so no. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Bang Theory. It all started with the Big Bang. There's no denying that the gang on the Big Bang Theory get themselves into some peculiar pickles. Over a hundred episodes, we've seen some outrageous behaviour. But what keeps us watching isn't the wacky antics, it's the relationships. The friendships and romances on the show have grown and developed over the years. The guys have actually made friends with some girls, Howard, grew out of his bromance with Raj and found love with Bernadette. Sheldon has a girlfriend and Leonard and Penny, well, they're just Leonard and Penny. It's been an interesting ride for these two. From their first kiss in episode six to their breakup in episode 59 to whatever it is they have now, it's been an on, off, on, off delight to watch. Forgotten the details? Here are the highlights. New neighbor? Evidently. What about if you went out with me? Yes, I will go out with you. Leonard has no business being involved with a waitress slash actress who felt so insecure that she lied to him about finishing community college. What about that really long hug? What did that mean? It means I wish you were coming. Leonard, you're back. Yeah, I just stopped by to say... <laughs> Let's slide over to Sheldon's spot and make out. You are a dirty girl. <laughs> I love you, Penny. Thank you. <laughs> in two different places emotionally, so what? That's fine. No. In fact, it makes sense, because let's face it, I've been in this relationship two years longer than you. This isn't fair to you, Leonard. I'm sorry. I screwed up. Leonard's a great guy. Never should have broken up with him. What's going on? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's not what it looks like. Penny, do you have plans for dinner? Why, are you guys going somewhere? No, I mean, just you and me. Have you thought this through? Yes, and I think we should go anyway. I think if I could choose, I, I would love them to end up together at the end of the day. Not mm. anytime soon, but you know how relationships are. They go on and off. You date someone, you break up, you become friends, your friends deal with it. Like, it's kind of a... Because they're so close, too, so mm. it's always going to affect everyone. So, you know, I like the ride that the writers are taking them on. I think it's really fun, and I think it's real. I have a real soft spot in my, my heart for those two, and I, I, I think they are the loves of one another's lives. Mm -hmm. They're just, they're, they just don't have it together in other areas of their life. There's a real visceral thing between the two yeah. of them, and uh, they both just have a whole lot to learn. Our babies will be smart and beautiful. <laughs> Not to mention imaginary. <laughs> One couple who, despite all odds, do seem to have it together are Sheldon and Amy. Personally, I love the Amy and Sheldon relationship because uh, I think it's a very different kind of sweet yeah. um, and it's a very different kind of tender. Possible explanations for your symptoms are, in descending order of likelihood, hyperthyroidism, premature menopause, hosting an alien parasite, <laughs> or, and I only include it for the sake of covering absolutely all bases, sexual arousal. <laughs> Where would I have picked up an alien parasite? <laughs> Amy and Sheldon are in the um, relationship agreement phase. A binding covenant that in its 31 pages enumerates, iterates, and codifies the rights and responsibilities of Sheldon Lee Cooper, here and after known as the boyfriend, and Amy Farrah Fowler, here and after known as the girlfriend. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> It's just this beautifully odd situation if he really seems to enjoy her company. And, um, and there's obviously a slight attraction slash attachment there that has just sort of come upon him. You're a vixen, Amy Farrah Fowler. <laughs> there was a lot of pressure from, you know, uh, fans that, that he be in a romantic relationship. But I didn't want to, uh, you know... Uh, miss out on an opportunity to have a character living life on his own terms. And that's what's wonderful about these characters, and, and particularly Jim's character. He's living life on his own terms. Proposal. One wild night of torrid lovemaking that soothes my soul and inflames my loins. <laughs> whether you agree with it or not, whether you agree with how he's having a relationship with Amy Farrah Fowler, 
that's the relationship. They've established a relationship that works for them. And uh, I, I think that's, that's admirable. Counter proposal. <laughs> I will gently stroke your head and repeat, ah, oh, who's a good Amy? <laughs> Rounding out the trio of couples on the show are the pint-sized Howard and Bernadette. When the, when the show started, did you ever think that Howard would get engaged? <laughs> No, I, you know, I thought he would be killed off or something. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, certainly not the first to, to kind of find love. Yes, I will marry you. You will? I will! Oh, I love you so much! Oh, I love you too! It was uh, just the perfect storm of, of, for whatever reason, these two people balance each other out. Don't take him too seriously. A lot of what he says is intended as humor. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think it's very funny. Me neither but he just lights up when I laugh. I think that these characters, there's so much love between them, so whether they actually marry or whether they don't, I think it'll be, it'll be great. What is that behind your ear? Oh, look, it's a condom. <laughs> Big Bang Theory is about more than romance, of course. It's really about friendships, and those can be the most entertaining relationships on the show. My favourite? Come on, easy. Howard and Raj. Do friendship. <laughs> How would you um, describe Raj's uh, friendship with Howard? It's a bromance. It's a, it's, a, it's a classic bromance. All right, honey, if we're going to make the movie, we should go. This may be hard for you to hear, but when I say honey, I mean my fiance. <laughs> yeah, well, now it means her. I think that it can be misconstrued into um, a, a physical sort of relationship that they have the physical hots for each other. Or, you know, that's not happening. There are a lot of girls out there who want to kiss you. Where? You just have to look. There have been so many memorable Big Bang Theory moments. Some of my personal favourites are Sheldon dressed as a Doppler effect. I don't care if anybody gets it, I'm going as the Doppler effect. Uh, Howard's robot arm incident. You slipped and fell into a robot hand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Penis first. That's not important though. Which moments stick in the minds of the cast and the creators? There was an episode where um, I, they wanted Sheldon to learn how to drive. There was this simulation exercise that he had on the TV with the video game to practice driving. Oh, hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! <laughs> the commitment of everybody as one group to get it done, it was, a, it was sheer joy. I, I like the one where I, Howard cries to Penny and then tries to kiss her and gets yeah. punched. <laughs> Obviously, the tiara scene. Sheldon, you are the most shallow, self-centered person I have ever met. Do you really think that another transparently manipulated... Oh, it's a tiara! A tiara! I have a tiara! Put it on me! 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 Put it on me. Put it on me. Put it on me. Do you have a, a favorite scene or, or episode? Oh, goodness. Um, I'm kind of a fangirl about this show. It's a scene where Penny um, gave Sheldon the Leonard Nimoy autograph, I yes. think, was one of my most favorite moments. To Sheldon, live long and prosper, Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> he came into the restaurant, sorry the napkin's dirty, he wiped his mouth with it. <laughs> the gift was a, a wonderful gesture, but the moment that everybody was struck by was, you know, we had this character who was so disaffected and so, you know, alienated from people hugging her in that moment because he was so overcome with joy.
We're making a situation comedy here, and we have to make one every week, but, you know, everybody on the set's kind of crying, and it, it got very emotional. Leonard, look, Sheldon's hugging me. Now, just because there are so many great moments in the past doesn't mean there won't be lots of great moments in the future. On the contrary, there will be. What they'll come up with is anybody's guess. Here we go into the future. Do you have uh, kind of thoughts and hopes for Sheldon in the future? Like, what would I want for him? That he wins the Nobel finally? I mean, you know, that's like getting a couple together at the end of an episode. Where's his fight then? You know, do I want him and Amy to have a test tube baby? I don't want to have to work with a child every week on this set, so no. <laughs> no yeah, that's important. Yeah. So do you have uh, hopes and aspirations for Howard's future. But for, for the better of his own being, I would say, I hope he can manage to get out from under his, his mother's fat thumb. I don't know uh, if they'll actually make it down the aisle, or if they will or won't. I want them to get married because I think if we see that scene, then presumably Howard's mother will have to be there. At the actual wedding, she could, she could serve us, I guess. Yeah. I hope Penny um, gets another job. Mm -hmm than working at the Cheesecake Factory. She's good though, though. She is really good at the Cheesecake Factory, mm. but I'm kind of sick of the uniform, mm. so I'd love to you maybe even work at sushi. Um, do you feel like Raj uh, will eventually be able to talk to girls I, without the age? I don't know. Drink? If it's not a drink, it'll be something else. Hard to believe that we've already had 100 episodes of The Big Bang Theory, but we have. Here's to 100 more. We're not writing Lost. We, we have no idea where this is going. A big deal. Not knowing is part of the fun. Catch the latest Big Bang episode over on E4 tomorrow night at 8. Totally random next here on 4. The animation is electrifying.